Uh, is that the way? That's the way. Well, I'll try and stand here out the wind. I'll get the wind look. Joe Rogan, Eric, Joe Rogan, Eric Weinstein, UFO podcast, groundbreaking. But first, hit the like button. Groundbreaking. Subscribe. Groundbreaking, brother. Breakdown. Let's go. So, last night, um, Joe Rogan did a, a, a podcast with Eric Weinstein. About the about Eric's three years of research into what is happening with this kind of UFO situation that's going on, right? And he has come up with two two philosophies, really. One dead given fact is that there is something going on, right? Because the governments of the world have come forward and said these things are there we've seen the gunship footage we've seen the infrared stuff the FLIR stuff there are objects in the sky undisputably yeah unless it's some big blag but but that's it's either so what so they are there that's a fact well he started off with that theory didn't he yeah well yeah. they are there though aren't they? they are there is something there are there is stuff in the skies right we, we, we agree on that there's stuff in the sky there's stuff in the sky so so Eric's 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 conversation goes something like, either it is uh, us, which was the four, or it's not, which he said is a thing that they did in the First or Second World War, where they put stuff out there to make everyone believe that we should be doing what we're doing, right? Like, what did he call that? Front line, line. fault line? That shit. The birdies. Bruh. What the hell? No, so he, he gave it a term that if you want everyone to believe something completely different, you you lead everyone down another path. It's like the yeah, it's like the it, fucking it's, where are the cups? It's like the ball under the cups, isn't it? You yeah. want to divert everyone's attention to something, so you lead them onto it. So they want the the government want us to believe there's UFOs because they don't want us to believe that it, that our technology is that good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or, or let's take it back a bit further. So, so we haven't. So he, in, what he was saying is that we haven't made any real serious breakthroughs in physics in 50 years. So, if you took away our mobile phones, took away our computers, and and the fact that we've got you know uh, modern cars, then nothing would have changed apart from the way we dress and the, and the look of our buildings in the last 50 years, right? And he's like, that. that is just, how is that fucking possible? I can't swear, I'm going to have to blow that out. How is that possible? How is that possible that we haven't made any progress in the last 50 years? And... No. <laughs> so, so, so he, so basically he's saying we haven't made any progress in the last 50 years. And then he starts going into this, this scientist, uh, his name eludes me, I can't remember, was it, was it possibly Ed Whitman? This scientist who is like this, just this, this genius, Einstein-esque, you know, anomaly of a physicist. But he's not even a who's, physicist, is he? Who's what the the, the tall he guy? He hadn't trained as a physicist or studied. Who, not Eric? No, not Eric. The other guy. I'm not. He's a mathematician, was he? Right. right. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And he basically, this guy is like scary to the point of people just don't want to talk to him because he's that kind of on the on the autistic scale, and he's that intelligent that he's just absolutely terrifying to speak to because he's just this odd cr creature that is just super intelligent. And this guy's never won a Nobel Prize. He's never ever had any kind of recognition for his sort of science. Whereas, but he, you know, people that are Nobel Prize winners would listen to him with their mouths on the floor at how intelligent this guy was. And Eric's theory was that at that time there was science that was what was it called? Cowboy science. Cowboy science. So cowboy science is basically scientists that were squirrelled away. You know, they were, given they were given, money, given LSD, loads of money, to do whatever the fuck and they just want. and oh, try and. Sorry. Yeah, I'll block it out. Loud to we're not allowed to swear now. Loud, allowed to do whatever they wanted to do science-wise, 
um, and come up with great science, not just sort of cutting edge science, but literally great science. To push, so, the, to push the boundaries. Push the boundaries. So have those scientists that have been squirreled away, you'll have to, we'll put the link in the video, but those scientists, have they been squirreled away in plain sight, developing a breakaway technology that is the tic tacs and these air, these things in the skies that defy physics, are they us? Have these scientists created them? That's theory one, right? Yeah, because he brought up the fact that we were back in the day. You had Area 51. Didn't actually, he didn't actually mention that, but he said about the the planes, the aircraft that were being invented or yeah. designed. If you saw a triangular thing travelling at speeds that we weren't used to seeing. That is a good way of saying, well, we haven't. And they've said that for years. Yeah, yeah. That's and that's why he dismissed it for, 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 for the last three years. He, in, him, in his own admission, he's completely dismissed it because he's just thinking people are just seeing these experimental aircraft. Um, so so then, then he starts talking about uh, being approached by governing bodies and sort of led down this path of come and meet us, come and fly out here. We've got these things to show you. We want to get you know, him and Sam Harris. Uh, and they just constantly getting longed off, uh, manianas as he called it, because it just they, nothing ever comes of it. But these people are saying, look, it's not video we're going to show you. It's not photos. This is something that you're going to is you're going to see that is going to absolutely blow your socks off. Um, and then this, so that was kind of the part of the podcast which was amazing. And and then he starts talking about um, he starts talking about his theory of what space time is and where this breakaway science could have possibly taken it and that again is like super interesting on on the by the fact that rather than creating a um an, a, a craft that can move at these ridiculous speeds the, the technology is that they're actually moving space time yeah within the f additional seven dimensions of this mathematical theory that uh and, it, and if we've got that sort of technology, then we're talking, um, you know, we're off, we're out of the solar system. We're not just, we're, we're, we're wherever we want to be, whenever we want to be there. Time flowing backwards. And, and, and again, the science of it, you can watch the podcast. We strongly recommend you watch the podcast. Um, so, so it was quite... It was quite something. I like the it? breakdown of the where he starts talking about the dimensional stuff and his description or his analogy is the record. Yeah. And gravity is yes, uh, actually so you've got the actual thing that plays the record. The record has multi grooved on it, but each one is a section, say a song of an LP. And that is the dimensional on the actual record is the dimensions. You could have fourteen songs, fourteen dimensions. <laughs> And he's talking about gravity. Gravity is the actual needle that reads the parts of the dimensions. Yeah. And pull it in because gravity is its own anom anom anomaly. Anomaly. Yeah. That, that people that that people just say, oh, that's gravity, and they're putting it in this group here. And he's saying, well, it's it's not actually a thing. It's the thing that ties, or it ties. And also, he was saying about the record, wasn't he? He was saying about time. So so what we feel. Our linear perception of time is that to get from song A to get from song one to song fourteen, you got to go. You got to play back through thirteen, twelve, eleven down to one. Or to get from one to thirteen, you got to go one, two, three. So the needle's got to go. We said actually, this technology is more akin to lifting the needle up and putting it on the song that you want, which was cool as cool as. So it was. It, I think from my perspective, right, the fact that Eric Weinstein is this super high profile mathematician mixing with the likes of Elon Musk and, and all of these kind of forethinking, you know, this, this, this band of, of uh, futurist thinkers in the States that, uh, that appear on Rogan's podcast. This guy is no fool, right? And he is now taking this thing deadly seriously. Um, and I just found it very, very interesting and very, very cool. Yes. What I enjoy about him is the fact that he runs his own podcast and he says he's an entertainer. And one of the key things he said was, if you come up with a theory in science, you know, whatever science that is, it's peer reviewed, but it goes out there and it's free to everyone. And he's saying, oh, I'm not having that. So I put my stuff out on my own podcast, thereby as an entertainer. I retain the rights. I retain the rights for that. And that is mine. 
his yeah. mind forevermore. Because he got mugged off many moons ago for one of his mathematical theories, which is now tuned into. I mean, there was so much in it, mate. That it podcast. was when he was. There was yeah. this. There's this. There's this university where there's this inscription on the wall that is that has been put there, almost like some kind of, you know, um, Tom Hanks. What's that film with Tom Hanks? Like a key, where you where people have. Da Vinci Code. Da Vinci Code, where people, these scientists, these group, this this group of potential breakaway scientists that are developing this gravity, anti-gravity stuff, um, have purposely messed up this key of the with the equations as some kind of. I don't know. It's just very cool. Well, he, it? it was he, very Da Vinci Code. The he whole identified thing. something, and it was the was it the they were going on about the spinning or the spiral, or spin something? up, spin down. Or wherever it was, and he's saying, no, no, no. He wrote that stuff, and then he was in an actual thingy where the where the guy had actually come round and gone, oh, maybe there's something there. And he's he when he's talking about, it, he's talking about the fact that he was literally sat there picking his nose yeah. in one of these lectures, and the guy talks about. It, and then everyone turned and looked at him so while he's one of, his... yeah, one of this old Jewish um, physicist turns around and says, didn't one of our students come up with that? And yeah. he was actually sat there. But the whole thing was very, very cool. And the fact that Eric Weinstein is now kind of leading the charge with it is quite an exciting thing. Um, the other thing that was amazing was that he was talking about, uh, so the two, the two potentials are, either it's this breakaway group of scientists that have come up with this stuff and we're now zipping around the skies and we're able to lose the planet. There was also some locked in stuff about Russia and Ukraine and, and the threat oh, of right nuclear war. Um, but then the other and aspect- some interesting stuff about, uh, are you about to say this? Einstein and his theories on how we believe that he was the guy, but actually there was a guy behind him yes. that was right in the maths because actually Einstein wasn't that brilliant at his math and he had to change and that. He need, and he needed... Literally, he, to get to where we are now, it literally went, oh, is this? No, that's wrong. Is this? No, that's wrong. Is this? Now that's wrong. Yeah. No, it's not. It's right, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah? To do with the expansion of space. Yes, and, yeah. I think we're on the brink. I think we're on the brink of something massive, mate. Massive. I hope so. What was the other? Uh, the other. So the other. The other thing was that he was talking about maybe. So so either either it's us that's developed this technology or it's alien, right? And if and, and he, he likened it to. There was a really interesting bit where he was talking about orcas and us studying other animals and and believing coming from a, a belief point that we are the most intelligent creature. Um, and then he was talking about this island in off the coast of India somewhere that's owned by India with these savages that basically live there that are like a protected species and they have obviously no concept that you know the Super Bowl's going on or, or you know Boris Johnson's in in Ukraine or what you know the Russia situation whatever all that stuff um, he said and 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 they're almost like a, a protected island they're not allowed to land on it so, so maybe when we are. When they did, they were getting killed. Maybe we, planet Earth, is the protected island. There's a little bug there, look, crawling on the lens. <laughs> now I've missed it all up, look. Twit. So, um, so I found that very, very interesting. That uh, that maybe we could be some kind of zoo. Just being watched at the moment. Just being observed. Until the right point. Just being observed. Just observed. So I think it's really cool. What do you think, Abby? Uh, I found it. It's four hours long. It's four hours long. It starts off with them, keep like Joe. They go off on a tangent, and then they start drinking a little bit and smoking some marijuana, and that's when it starts to get a little bit more. Uh, it, it, deep. Go, it goes incredibly deep, and and then it kind of disappears out the other side and then again a little start getting a little bit drunk and then it's all but it's well worth a watch definitely worth a well watch. worth a watch if you're into the UF, uap thing if you're into this fringe stuff that we like to talk about go and check it out we'll put the link in the description um it's awesome we've got some other videos coming up we're going to shoot an entity video this weekend and uh yeah what do you reckon mate that's yeah, it watch it go check it out big potatoes keep looking at my screen and not the legends. Right. Yeah. Right. Right.